What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hearts and God sense. My name is Godson B A Pinky, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here in Canva Play, we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. For those who are new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel if you find it helpful and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create the Detach a Photo Look design made in Canva. In my previous tutorials, I show you how to create a burn all photo effect and a rip paper look photo design in Canva. Today, I will create a design again on a photo. This time, I'm going to create a look of a photo wherein a certain portion or part of it was being detached from the photo itself. Let me start by showing you the sample designs that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design editor. I will create the sample number one of my Detach a Photo Look design. The first step is to create a background. I will go to Uploads. I will choose this photo in a dark background with red melted moon. This is a photo I uploaded in Canva from other photo stock free sites. I will set this image as my background. Then. Drag an image from Uploads as my subject photo. I will remove the background of this image. So using this image, I will go to Edit Image and remove its background. If you are using the Pro version, you can automatically remove the background under Edit Image. If you are a free user, you can use the free alternative background remover like Remove.bg. I will put in the description box below the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle free. To continue, I will drag and position it like this. Next step is, I will download it as PNG and upload it back to Canva. I will create a new page and delete this page. I will click the PNG image from Uploads and set it as a background. After that, I will now start creating the Detach a Photo Look design. I will go to Elements and search for Frames. I want to use a frame that is not with the straight edges. I want a frame that looks like a ripped paper on both of its sides. It takes time for me to look for this because it's a frame that has no keyword yet. I will scroll down below to search for it.
like this one. So if you look at its properties, the keyword is untitled. It's a free element. I will position this frame on the portion of the image that I want to put the Detacha Photo Look design. I will position it like this, almost covering the whole body parts. Now, I will duplicate this frame and set it aside here for a while. And then, I will color this aligned one with white. Going back to the duplicate one, I will align it with the white frame. Then, I will get the background PNG photo in the uploads. And then, I will attach it inside the frame. I will align them perfectly. And once they're aligned, I will move the frame with an image 3 pixels away to make the white one at the back show the little bit or can be seen a little like this. And then, I will click the frame and manipulate the image inside to align it with the background. The next step is, I will group the two together. And then, I will duplicate them. And I will set this duplicate group here. And I will lock the first group. I will get the duplicate group. And I will align these frames with the original frames that I've locked. After aligning them, I will ungroup these two elements at the top. So, I can manipulate them freely. Now, I will get the PNG photo I uploaded a while ago with the image inside and insert it inside the frame. I will click the frame again to align the image inside with the background. And for the beginners out there, you can do it by dragging the corners and move it to align with the background. Now, I will select them together and rotate them clockwise or to the right 9 degrees. And I will align the bottom tip with the frames with the image of the background like this. Done. Take a look at the detach a photo look design number one I've created. Create another page. And I will create the sample number two of my detach a photo look design. Let's start again by creating a background. I will get again the image that I will use from uploads as a background. And I want something colorful and shiny. And this is a background design created by Goodheart Bay from his post Roasted Gradient Background in his IG page. I will set this image as my background. And then I will get my subject photo from the uploads. Using this image, I will go to Edit Image and remove its background. And then I will position the image with the page. I will make it bigger by dragging it from the corners and position it with the page. Then I will download it as PNG and upload it back in Canva.
I will delete now this page and create a new page. Then I will click the PNG image I uploaded and I will set the image as my background. And I will now start creating the Detach a Photo Look Design number 2. I will go to Elements and search for Frames. I want a square frame with white edges background. If you scroll down the choices, you will be amazed to see unlimited frame shapes and designs. You need to have a sharp eye to find the exact frame you want to use. Imagine I already scrolled down 60 plus times just to find this frame. I cannot search the keyword of this in the search bar because like the frame I use in my sample number one, this frame has no keyword yet. So if you look the properties, it's untitled. This is a free frame available for all Canva users. I will position the frame on the face portion of the image. Then I will get the uploaded PNG again from Uploads and insert it inside the frame. I will click the frame and align the image inside with the background image. Then, lock it for the meantime. I will go again to Uploads and get the background I use without image, the gradient background. And then, I will align it with the whole page and crop it like the size of the frame with the image. Then I will position it backward. I will unlock now the frame I've locked and I will tilt the frame 20 degrees counterclockwise or to the left. And I will position it. Done. Take a look at the Detach a Photo Look Design number 2 I created. Then create another page and I will create the sample number 3 of my Detach a Photo Look Design. Create a background again and I will get again the image from Uploads as a background. This time I want to use a dark background. I will set the image as my background. And then I will get my subject photo again from Uploads. This one, and using this image, I will go to Edit Image and remove its background. I will make it bigger and position it by dragging it from the corners and position it with the page. Then, I will download it as PNG and upload it back in Canva. I will delete now this page and create a new page. And then, I will click the PNG image I uploaded and set it as my background. Then I will now start creating the Detach a Photo Look Design number 3. 
This time, I will drag or get the same photo from Uploads. And align it with the background. And crop it on the part I want to make a detach a photo look. Next step is, I will drag or get again the black background I used here from Uploads. And then, the same with the one I cropped a while ago, I will align it with the whole Canva page. And crop it also like the image size I cropped a while ago. But position the crop image forward. So I can set it as my guide in cropping this black background. Now, using this crop image at the top with the image, I will apply a shadow to emphasize the edges. Using the crop image, I will go to edit image and find shadows. Under shadows, I will find page leaf. And apply it. Now, I will tilt it 15 degrees counterclockwise or to the left. Done. Take a look at the detacher photo to look design number 3. Let me show you again the three sample designs of my Detacha photo look I have created using Canva. Sample number one, sample number two, and sample number three. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this! If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky Godson BA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Simon Goodheart Bay, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit the tickle bell icon. So you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.